So, as as uh, as mentioned, I was designated to uh, uh, reveal the ladder, and as uh, mentioned before, we have uh, we have a little bit of a special theme. So, uh, for a little bit of context, uh, if uh, if if you remember way way back to uh, the first tournament. Back then we had this little thing called uh, uh, the Weekend Warriors. It was a really, it was kind of like that matchup of the the, the month. I guess it was uh, kind of like a weekly thing uh, for a little while. Uh, but we had done a special. We had done a little bit of a, a, a special event where one of those Weekend Warriors uh, was the weekend right after the tournament. I think it was right after or maybe a, a two. Uh, but what ended up happening is they emulated the final matchup between the the, the Warriors, or the, the matchup that, because uh, I believe it went to a game three, and so they, they emulated that last matchup, Dracula versus Bruce Lee on Hierot, as a way for like the community to be like, okay, you guys get to participate in this as well. And so we did something a little bit similar with the latter season this year, uh, coinciding with the recent tournament between uh, uh, Unmatched Chad and Dark Blade. We are going to have this theme uh, themed after the finals uh, uh, that they had participated in. And so therefore, all of the fighters that were used in that final matchup for all those five games are going to be in this season right here. So we have Muldoon, T-Rex, the Raptors, Achilles, Alice, Luke Cage, Ghost Rider, Sun Wukong, Daredevil, and Beowulf. So you get to pick which fighters you would like to you which fighters you would have chosen in kind of that the the finals there, uh, or which fighters yeah you would you would take into battle. With you, so this these are this is the roster right here, uh, and similarly, we weren't able to do this with all the maps, uh, uh, but similarly, we picked maps based off of both the finals and a couple from the semifinals as well. So, uh, the first one which you saw was Soho, the little bit of an extra extra reveal there. We have Sherwood Forest. And hanging gardens that were all part of the uh, uh, the final stream. Now there was Yukon, however, considering the the roster uh, and how some of them might be able to abuse that map, we did choose to omit that one there. However, in lieu of that, and to fill in for a uh, fifth one as well, we chose two that were used in the semifinals as well. So the last two we have is Marmoreal and T-Rex Paddock. So this is your season eight roster and map right there. Again, this is going to be the theme for uh, the, the season. I know some people uh, had talked about uh, like a Halloween season uh, or a theme like that, which I think would be uh, really good. That'd be really awesome to do that. Uh, but if you want to give feedback, I'm gonna transition a little bit here. If you wanna give feedback on uh, um, what you like about ladder, what you don't like, uh, uh, if you, if there are t ways you would tweak it, uh, there are there's a form that the the um, big goods and the council kind of put out in lieu of the people's champion uh, with the unmatched ladder feedback form. And one of those questions does mention whether uh, you know having these themed seasons is something that you would like as well. So lots of great questions uh, that is on that form. Please go fill that out. Let us know. Uh, what it is that you like, don't like, would maybe change about ladder, uh, and just, yeah, fill it out. It gives us a good idea as to where to, you know, what what direction uh, you would all like to head with the ladder, and gives us a little bit of a sense of, um, yeah, where where we can continue to grow this thing. Uh, it's a again, ladder is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic way to play unmatched. I am always up for uh, getting a game on ladder whenever I am able to, and. And so yeah, we want to continue to grow this thing as well, uh, uh, keep this thing moving uh, in the best way that we can. So 
that is going to be it for the reveal. I will also put this on YouTube. Uh, just as Zero Skater said, uh, we are, you can choose whether you are on Team Chad or Team Dark Lit. You can uh, uh, even, may, maybe you can challenge yourself as well. Maybe add a little bit of like an extra thing. It's like, only choose certain fighters from one side or the other. Who knows? It's not a required thing, but you could. Uh, I'd love to see someone take up that challenge, maybe. Uh, either way, thank you so much for the reveal. Uh, uh, it was a pleasure to be able to do this with you all. Um, yeah, I'll put this up on YouTube as well uh, uh, for those who may have uh, may have missed this uh, or who are wanting to view this. Maybe uh, they're getting into this halfway through the season, or so that uh, yeah, you're not limited to the Twitch Twitch vod there. Chat wants to. Uh, so let's take a look at the roster. I'm going to pull up uh, a little document I have here just to like see what I have for competitive. If anyone first picks Alice, they have no fear. <laughs> I actually, I think, and I'm, Zero kind of uh, showed this a little bit, I think Alice has a lot of potential that like not many people have dedicated to um, working out. I think I think there's a, a lot of really good potential Alice has into a lot, a lot, a lot of fighters. Um, and I, again, I, I bring back like the, the the one season that Zero just dominated the 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 one ladder with only Alice. It's uh, uh there. Uh, so uh, the theme. Okay, so for Tater who's just joining. So the theme uh, is uh, in in lieu of our recent, not in lieu. Uh, in light of the recent tournament, we are theming it all based off of the finals and a little bit from the semi-finals from the recent tournament. So all of the fighters, we are utilizing all of the fighters from uh, that were used in the finals between uh, Chad and Darkblade there. And then the maps, so these three maps were also in the finals uh, that were used there. And then the, the last two were uh, um, used in semis here. So uh, yeah, I guess because we're talking about it, like, we can start with uh, with Alice. And I think, uh, like Zero Skater said, there's a lot of interesting matchups here. Um, I think Muldoon might be a little bit tricky, uh, but I think T Rex will be a, a a a good one for Alice being able to hit over those defenses as well. I think, uh, um, and again, not having any feints, that's going to be. Um, Pre that, that will ha help her to be able to shift between the two forms uh, much more easily. Um, yeah, I think it will give her a lot of flexibility in that matchup. Raptors, I think, uh, yeah, the, it, she has a little bit more consistency, so I think she would be able to withstand a lot of the attacks there. Achilles, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's slightly Achilles' favorite. I think I remember playing this, and it was a... I, I think it was a little tough for Alice to get. Um, I think I think Alice needs to keep Pat alive as much as possible. May again, I haven't played that matchup a whole lot, so some a lot of this will actually be a little bit of speculation. Um, Luke is going to be a, a um, easy for for Alice to get into. I think Ghost Rider is going to be well because Ghost can do the the vroom vroom. Uh, maneuver fairly well with Alice and not have to interact with too much. So that one might be um, a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit rough. Wu Kong is going to be very rough. I think that's that's going to be one of like the, the that will be the worst matchup for Alice. Daredevil, I think she'll do well with, uh, and then Beowulf. Uh, yeah, again, Beowulf kind of likes those that that ping damage or like the the smaller amounts of damage building up the rage over time. I think Big Alice is going to prevent that a whole lot. So I think Alice does have quite a few, um, quite a few different uh, uh, matchups that are that should be good for her. Um, uh, again, because Luke was mentioned here, I'll, I'll uh, kind of talk about Luke next here. Uh, again, I think Alice again will deal with Luke. I think, like you said. Uh, uh, Taylor, that the, a lot of fighters will probably be able to deal with Luke. I think um, they can either hit over a lot of his defense, even with his special ability. You have these heavy, heavy hitters like Alice or Achilles, or you have some people who just don't care. They can do some of the auto damage. Wukong can 
I think Wukong might be a little bit if if um, if Luke can manage to correctly read some of the the cards I, I think that would be I, I think he might be able to stand a chance for Wukong or stand a chance against it be able to recur some of those still standings and all of that um, but yeah T-Rex and, and Ghost Rider have a lot of the auto damage there um, Beowulf again has some big attacks and a little bit of uh, auto damage as well um, and and uh, Ingen is probably going to be good into that so yeah I, I think it's very interesting I think Luke is doesn't quite have a, a here let's, let's do like a, a mini tier list here uh, let's let's clear this. I don't think we need the the maps here. So let's we're, we'll create a bit of a tier list. Um. Uh, pencil. So we have the S tier, A tier. This is very. We're gonna hand draw these. F tier. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Uh, right now, I think I'm going to put Luke in C, just because of, uh, there's a lot of matchups that, uh, uh <laughs> that I, he won't do well in. It might move to B, I'm, it's kind of between here, but again, this is very early. I'm going to put Alice in A right here. Um, yeah, we, here at Twister Strudel, we, we pride ourselves with, uh, with the art, uh, <laughs> that we, we have on this channel. Uh, InGen, uh, InGen strong overall, I think. Let's see, against Alice, I think that's, uh, again, as long as he doesn't let Alice get in to, to make too many attacks. Uh, but again, with a double range, it should be, it shouldn't be too hard. Luke, I think he, he can deal well with. Uh, T-Rex, I think Muldoon does well. Raptors, um, a kill, yep. I, I think Muldoon is going to be another one. Uh, he, he's going to do very well this season. I would put him in S tier. I, I think that's a, a, a safe assumption. Um, yeah, Ghost Rider, even with the Vroom Vroom, like he can stall. Uh, he, he can kind of um, let, uh, let, uh, let him stall. I, I might put Luke in B, Bryden, uh, just because it's, uh, uh, yeah, but I, I do think with this meta, he's not going to be quite as good. I don't think he, with this specific uh, uh, fighter roster, I don't think this he's going to do quite as well. Um, okay, T-Rex. Again, probably does well to Luke. Uh, I can't see him doing well into some of the... the, the the beefy characters, so Alice, Achilles, Bayo, um, but for the majority of them, I think he does well. I think Ghost Rider is a little too squishy. Um, Wukong he might also have some troubles with, but I think the rest of these he would do well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe uh, uh, put him in B tier. Let's let's start with that. So let's start start here. Um, Okay. Raptors. And Raptors is always a tricky one because they are uh, very inconsistent. Uh, because they have so few defenses, like anything could really happen. Uh, you know, uh, throwing together those combos and, and all that. Uh, so they, they really could have a, uh, you know, a game or two where something really interesting could happen. Um, but yeah, this is create a Z tier below. F. <laughs> uh, I do think Raptors. Let, okay, let's let's go over this. I'm Muldoon. It, it, I think is tough. Alice, they could do well with Alice. I, I think if they can catch her off guard, if they can get her in, uh, let's say a big form, and rush in, deal a couple big attacks. Um, especially if they can pin her, I think that could be uh, uh, very good. I don't see them beating the T-Rex. Oh, another very important thing with uh, that Brian mentioned. They don't get both position and map. There's no full advantage towards one or the other. So um, there's a little bit of that um, that kind of mitigated there. It, yeah. 
I think against Luke, again, you, you could get a, a, a decent combo if you can, yeah, get them in and, and just really go ham at, uh, at Luke Cage. But again, I think that's still a lot of damage that you're playing through. You need to commit quite a bit to, to uh, surround Luke and deal all the damage you need. Achilles... See, and that's the thing. I think a lot of these are maybe. I think Ghost Rider should be uh, one that's a little bit easier. Um, and again, some of this is speculation. Daredevil might be a little bit easier. Um, Alice might be easier. Uh, I'll put him just underneath Luke, but he might go in F tier. I'm pretty sure. Um, Bryden, Bryden uh, predicting they'll have a sub 10% win rate at the end of the month. I, I would not doubt it, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, uh, this, you know, just to fill one, let's let's do this for now, we'll see what happens. Uh, Achilles, now Achilles I think is going to be fairly good in these these matchups. Um, again, I, like, like I said, I think uh, they can take on the Raptors, they can take on uh, Luke Cage, especially if Pat's alive, I think getting, you know, you have that auto damage, if he can deal deal some of that to Luke I think that is uh, fantastic um, <laughs> your work here is done Brian you've you've uh, successfully convinced me um, Alice I think again I think Alice needs to keep Pat alive a little bit uh, as much as long as possible and trying to hit Achilles and so that one could go either way I think I I, I think in that one that should be uh, you know, fairly even. I don't have a lot of experience with the T-Rex, hardly at all, and so, um, <laughs> should mess up the meta so you can pick Raptors. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, I, I'd be very curious if, if, uh, if, I mean, hey, it's a valid strategy. You could, could easily, easily just try to, to manipulate people. Wouldn't be the, wouldn't be the, the, I, I remember with, uh, some of the older tournaments how, like, and Bryden, definitely participate in this I believe as well uh, where you would talk about certain matchups that, but you would you wouldn't necessarily be truthful you try and like psych psych people out try and give misinformation uh, I would I wouldn't put it past them 100% <laughs> but it's all in good fun absolutely uh, so T-Rex I'm, I'm not sure I think it could be about like a 50 50 I think uh, uh, maybe a little Achilles favored I don't think he's gonna do as well as Mold Dune. He's, he's, or sorry, he's not going to beat Muldoon. Uh, he can beat Ghost Rider. I think he can beat Daredevil if he can get Pat out um, quickly. Um, Wukong is another one. Uh, I'm just going to actually say it right here. I think Wukong is going to be A tier at the very least. Uh, I can see T-Rex being a bit of a problem. But a lot of these are melee fighters. And, and Muldoon is going to be maybe a little bit of a problem. But uh, most of these are melee fighters uh, with no, and there's no range sidekicks. I mean, T-Rex, Ghost Rider, and Daredevil are all, and no, Luke has a range sidekick. But these three right here, they're all single fighters. Uh, so trying to get into uh, attack Wukong is going to be a little bit difficult. Luke maybe could do, I think if he reads the attacks well, I think Luke could have a chance. Raptors, I think they won't do well against Wukong. Achilles won't, Beowulf won't, uh, so I really do think it's going to be really Muldoon and maybe, 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 maybe Luke. Um, I would even venture to say it goes S tier, because I think Wukong might, like, I think he can potentially do uh, uh, some some damage against Muldoon, it, like, it might be a little bit closer than I am saying, um, so yeah, Muldoon is uh, uh, going to be quite, quite tricky there. Um, yeah, Holland Notes, we Wukong gonna make it pretty hard to first pick 70%. It it really is true. And I actually a uh, little fun fact, I don't know how much uh, I am theoretically allowed to, to like say what goes on through like some of the processes, but one of the things we actually thought about during the ladder is doing a team versus team format, doing that whole team chat versus team dark blade. Uh and it's uh, I love the team format i think that's something that would be really cool to revisit but uh we took one look at the roster and someone was like wukong's gonna be a very big problem against the the other team and 
as soon as that was mentioned, it was like, yep, that's that's Wukong was the reason why we like it was it was not going to be able to make it work. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think Wukong is very powerful against most of the fighters here. Uh, I think he's going to be uh, uh, a menace. I, I would almost venture to say uh, Wukong might be the, the one who you first pick just to hopefully ban. Um, and like you might have the occasional, uh, per, you know, like an in-gen loop trying to counter that. Um, going back to Achilles, I think I'm putting him B tier above T-Rex. Again, I don't have a lot of uh, uh, um, knowledge on the T-Rex, so some of this is a little bit. Uh, uh, some of this is a little. little bit of speculation here. Sorry, I was just looking at something for a second. Uh, Beowulf. Ooh, okay, I think, again, he, I don't, I don't know what to, yeah, it, it's, I'm getting, a, it's hard for me to read how Beowulf is going to do. I don't think he does well against Alice or Achilles, and similarly, I think Luke or Wukong. I think Beowulf actually has a tough time against a lot of the roster. He, might have a couple tricks like just to get rage against Muldoon, but I don't think he does well against Muldoon. I don't think T-Rex might be one that works for him, just because uh, T-Rex, he can hit big, but there is also some of it that's all auto damage as well, and so being able to gain two rage in, you know, one attack is going to be a, a big thing for, uh, you know, that, that works against T-Rex. Uh, Raptors, I think he could do well, especially because he has the high health that he can, and the same with T-Rex, he has the high health that can withstand some of the bigger attacks, but uh, with Raptors, because he has so few defenses, I think it might be a little bit tough for him to get off the ground. Ghost Rider, I think, will be a good matchup. I, I, I think I think Beowulf will do well into that, just because uh, if Ghost Rider uses the room room, you're giving him free rage at that point. Uh, and I don't know if he had, like, a lot of it depends on, on that Hellfire that Ghost Rider has. So, uh, this is tough. I've got to put him C. Do, do that here. Uh, speaking of Ghost Rider, I think he's going to have a really tough time. He struggles against a lot of heavy hitters. Again, Alice, I think, is uh, a maybe here. Uh, same with Wukong. Uh, I think if Alice can manage to get in and get uh, her attacks in, uh, she can do well uh, and, you know, get the, the healing. Uh, but that is a lot, a, a couple of ifs, and Ghost Rider can just room maneuver and, you know, take a couple swings that when he absolutely needs to. Uh, doesn't, kind of negates the, the looking glass uh, there. Uh, and then with uh, Wukong, of course, being able to uh, use the room room technique and just get past those clones. I think those are the two matchups there that is good. Maybe Raptors, uh, just being able to, you know, let's say chip a little bit and then room so that you can hit one of them, um, or just rooming past. Let's say if they're trying to use a Raptor to defend against someone else and uh, just being able to move in uh, through the Raptors at any point and, and just attack. Um, so you have three good matchups. I haven't really played him into Daredevil a whole lot. Um, I put him low C, maybe high F. Let's do high F. I, I think I, even his better matchups. I think it it has to, it depends on um, what. It, 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 there are a couple of circumstantial uh, um, you know things that need to happen. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Daredevil. Um, <laughs> I'm tempted to put him in A just to make this a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, uh, but <laughs> I, let's let's actually take a look at it here. I don't actually, again, I've played Daredevil a couple times. Um, Muldoon is, uh, and, and Wukong, I don't see that happening. Um, Alice, maybe. Um, But I think if Alice can get enough big hits, I think it's going to be a little bit rough for Deadpool. Same with Achilles. I think he's a little bit uh, uh, powerful. Um, Daredevil is great into Wukong. Uh, 
could you maybe like elaborate on that? Like, like I, I don't doubt it. I just, uh, I, I personally, have, I mean, I have not played the matchup either, but I'd be curious as to uh, why that is here. Um, Wukong can't fate. Ooh, oh, so he can outlast Wukong. That actually changes things. That's right. And so similarly with T Rex, yeah, he doesn't have any fates either. Oh, that's very interesting. No fates. That's yeah, that's right. Um. Okay, so that moves him up quite a bit. So Wukong, uh, he could do very well then. Um, I still think Alice and Achilles would be a little bit tough. T-Rex, again, T-Rex hits hard, and so that would be a downside, but with T-Rex having no feints, uh, again, having all of those guaranteed effects go off, uh, that might be a little bit, uh, that would change things a, a little bit here. Luke might be tough, Beowulf might be tough. Luke is a special, I think is, is a, a quite interesting because not only does he have the feints, but although, oh wait, can you, Devil is a, a an attack card, right? So like Devil can only be played when, uh, against uh, uh, Luke, when Luke's defending and Luke's defense, four value attack, yes, and Luke has the, the <laughs> trash talk as well. Um, Oh, Holland also is also saying Daredevil can also blind boost and boost over Ox Swarm, which is very true. Um, okay, so yeah, yeah, I think you you all changed my mind. I think he he'll, he might have a, a good matchup into Wukong. Um, but yeah, against Alice, Achilles, and Luke, I'm going to say that he doesn't. T-Rex, I think it's possible. Beowulf, Beowulf I think it's... I, yeah, I don't think Beowulf's a, a, a great example either. Uh, Green Tiger says, if Misty dies early, Luke can be Daredevil. Interesting. Uh, sorry, if Misty dies early, Luke can beat Daredevil? I guess, uh, I guess uh, if you kind of need... Uh, if Daredevil can use some of his bigger attacks on Misty, like, uh, like the um, Devil of Hell's Kitchen... Um, that, uh, something like that, it might be a little bit easier to, to get off and, and be, you know, get his engine running. So I, yeah, I, I, I understand that, that idea. Um, Ghost Rider, however, I think can do, I think he does fairly well into Ghost Rider. And I think Raptor is similarly, uh, if, if he doesn't get pinned and, uh, uh charged there, um, I really want to put him in A aesthetically. I think I'm gonna put him in B. Uh, I think this is the this is where we put put Daredevil. So there is my uh, uh, my tier list. Uh, any thoughts on this? What on on uh, whether you would put any higher or lower? What uh, what what you would uh, what you would say? What changes you would make? There's uh, there's not a whole lot. Uh, zero saying uh, I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Maybe I'll take a screenshot and uh, uh see if I let it post it on a uh, on the social. See see if there's a uh, uh, if anyone else has any thoughts there. T Rex might be higher. Yeah, I can see T Rex being higher. Um, again, uh, I, the T-Rex where it is, it might be part of, again, my lack of experience. So I could easily see this going into, let's say, A, like that. Um. But, uh, uh, that sound, uh, yeah, I, I'd say either, he, like, somewhere in here. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe this is this is what we'll do. We'll we'll change it here, and uh, just because I like I, I this this makes this makes me feel happy seeing two in each. <laughs> uh, perfect. Not not getting full advantage can make the difference. That is a huge uh, uh, aspect. Um, 
I think T-Rex could still do well if he... I don't know if he... Let's look at the maps again here. I'm gonna... Um, no, wrong. Uh, I don't want that. Where... Am I missing something here? Oh, I know exactly what I'm missing. I'm not actually... There we are. So, uh, let's look at the maps again. I think if... Let's see, would T-Rex want map advantage or position advantage? I have a feeling... Ooh, yeah. Um, Marmoreal, he might do well at just because of the, the multiple different zones. If he can... Uh, yeah, let's say he gets into like a, a green, a blue-green zone here being able to teleport and hit almost everywhere. I think that's a good map. Um, T-Rex Paddock gives him a little bit of that, but you know nothing crazy. I think Sherwood is also another one where he might want maps. So I think if you're T-Rex, um, I think you go for map. You're, you're hoping that you get the, the map choice. Maybe I'm, again, maybe I'm wrong completely bonkers but um i think you try for you you hope you get map choice and then you go for either sherwood or marmoreal yeah i think well uh hanging gardens might be okay just with the uh, with the um with well but the zone yeah it might be okay just with the the high ground that's what it's called but i yeah i don't know if the if uh if the opponent will try to let them you know uh, utilize them as, as best as they they can right and so i, I don't i don't know if I, uh, this actually is a beneficial map for t-rex here um So, uh, that, these are the final thoughts on this. I'm actually, I have someone else who's uh, interested in getting a game on stream. I think uh, Zero's, I think Soho will be the problem. Yeah, Soho is, uh, is uh, will be rough. I think if you're T-Rex and someone else picks the map, you're hoping it's not Soho. I, I would agree with that. Because um, I think if you, if you can get the map choice, I don't think it matters what position too, too much. I think it helps, but... Um, that's all good. 